Hey guys, welcome back to Lover Smell Podcast. I'm here with my co-host Colaxel, and we're joined by our special guest today, Rocky Z A. What's up, y'all? Uh, what was that? I'm on, I'm on TV. You are yeah, on TV. you are on TV. Back to oh that. my gosh! Hi, mom. Your mom will actually see this, so make sure you watch uh, what you uh, say. I bet so. I bet so. I believe so. I know, I know so. Straight Alrighty. from the hospital. Straight from the hospital, baby. Ooh. That's what we like to That's, see. Yeah. Chemo, and this is what's going to keep her alive. Hopefully. Absolutely. Alrighty, let's start off. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Rocky. Tell me, what's your name on the server? What's What do you do? What's your rank? Give it all. Tell me, give me the deets. Tell me all about you. Yeah, so so I, I, I'm a I'm a taste bud on the, on the server, right? Yeah. So I, I technically got it for free because I'm broke in real life. Uh, I kind of spent uh, all my McDonald's money on it, so, you know, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so yeah, my name is Rocky ZA. The ZA stands for my country, South Africa. Absolutely like trashed, you know. Uh, but yeah, I love my country. I get robbed every you, single Tuesday. Do you like your history, like the, your country's history though? Or do you be like, yeah, let's not talk about that? I mean, we can't talk about it. There was a lot of racism. Yeah, it was know? like pretty yeah. bad over there, right? You know, you can't Very take bad, you know. You put your president in jail for like 20 years and he wasn't like allowed to like move. And stuff yeah stuff. yeah i mean i'm not surprised you know yeah <laughs> but I mean, you know what it's times have changed I mean, when it comes to it, it's not south africa it's the imperialist fault yeah 100 yeah. so don't the even colonizers you know yeah the colonizers mm-hmm. absolutely it's the imperializers that really caused that problem so yeah yeah south africa wasn't good south africa. a lot better now though they're doing great they're doing it, great. It, it's doing great now so still bad but better you know yeah that's that's the first step baby steps i mean yeah Alrighty, so we started off our last podcast with this question, or something like this question. I think we should do it again. Tell me about your worst and best experience on the server so far. Give it, give me a good oh. story. Tell me it. Yeah. I mean, I bet most people would say scamming. Yeah. People, people being scammed. But you know what? I don't really care. I, I was scammed for a mansion. For a mansion. Next day, next day, like I got banned for one day. But you know, it's fine. Sure. Even though I, I was the one who got scammed, but it's fine. But yeah, that was that was pretty horrible, actually. I lost half a million. Half a million, but Jesus. Half a million. Mm, that's a lot of money. That is a but lot of money. On the good side, today I got some great spawners, great spawners. and I got like five shulker boxes, which I'm happy about Ooh. because okay. I can carry the stuff on me. Very because nice. So I can feel safe. What kind of spawners? Uh, I got a magma and a blaze spawner. Even though the value is going down, Did you my really happiness add? is going up. Like thirty-two of each, or one? Of them? No, just, just, just did, one. Did you, you raise know? another when it got reset? Just one. When it got reset, you know, I'm a, I'm a sure, taste so today. I can only yeah, get yeah. two. It yeah. happened the, for context. The nether and end reset today when we're recording this. So yes. You did it today. Very nice. Very nice. Impressive. Mm-hmm. It's very hard. I to was get. actually worried because I thought everyone was gonna steal, but people were kind. It's hard nice. to get them early. Especially, yeah. especially how many how many taste buds allowed to mine? Uh two. Only two. Two. So did you have to yeah. call upon friends to help? Or um so I only mined two and then I called someone yeah. to come help me, but then he was like, Nope, give me twenty K and then I'll mine it for you. So oh, I just left my face. Yeah. Even though it'd be worth more, it wasn't worth the morals. Like it was on yeah. principle, you didn't do it. I, I didn't I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money. I spent it oh. all on what a fart Trying to make a carrot farm, so. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. All right. Oh, carrot farms. I love carrot farms. We all love carrot farms. Yeah. Tell me about that. How's your carrot farm going? What? How's the progress on your carrot farm? Tell uh, me. I want to be at your carrot farm right now. Let me be the carrot farm. Um. So right now, I've only just started. Um. I haven't made any money from it yet. I've actually lost all my money from it, but you know, it's like a win-win situation. You know. Sure. I might, yeah. I might Pretty win proud. some money. I might lose some money, but I'm yeah. upgrading it every single day. So nice. They're a hundred percent the safest investment you can make on the server. Carrots are I mean, easily the best money, most reliable money that you know will never be changed. Really, at this point in the game. And yeah. Absolutely. All right. I forgot to mention this before, but um, how long have you been playing on for the server? On the server. So um, I first started uh, I think beginning of last season. 
um, on my first account, but I didn't know what to do on this game. So I was like, screw this. I don't know how to play Minecraft. Then I left it. And then I came back this year, about three months ago. And then I was like, hmm, may maybe let me give it a chance. Because I was watching his uh, YouTube videos at the time. Love of Fellows YouTube videos. Right. Um, but then I couldn't log into the same account because I didn't know passwords and that stuff. But sure. now I made a new account and everything's going well. I got taste bud. Um, I'm making millions, losing millions, very and nice. making some cool friends. Very nice, very nice. I'm glad to hear it. Tell tell us about that. Tell us about the friends you made. Give us some. Tell me a story um, about like those friends that you've found throughout the game. I mean, I don't know if we are friends. I I would like to think. I mm. mean. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm I'm not gonna say anyone's name because I don't want to be embarrassed. And then like they send me a uh, message saying, "Shut up, I'm Sorry. not your friend." So I'm not gonna name any, but I I, I got like a few. Understandable. Maybe Very ten. Nice. Ten hey, and a half. Good, you only need the you only gonna want ten twenty friends on a server because yeah, you know, the rest of the people are just gonna be business partners later. You know. Yeah. But that's how it usually ends up being. You know, you got your friends, and then everybody else is just for business, strictly business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, Klax, we got anything to add so far? You've been a little quiet today. Uh, how has no? Taste Bud been, been uh, treating you lately since you got it? Yo, it's giving me a lot of privilege, you know? I can do slash back. I can break one more spawner than usual. Um... Uh, Cooldowns are quicker. It's actually quite good, but I wish I had slurp or gobble. But I'm working. I'm working. You're working for it. Taste but is a good. Is that your game rank. plan? You're gonna go my game make though. carrot farm, invest in carrot farm, use carrot farm money, get more ranks. Is that the game plan? Yep, that's the game plan. Do you have time frames on how long that's gonna take? Like, do you know how long um, it's gonna take you? So unfortunately, I'm dumb. So I'm I'm not allowed to play during the week. Otherwise, uh, I would be still in the first grade. Oh. But <laughs> but I am allowed to play on weekends. But sure. since my parents are divorced, I can only play every second weekend. So I don't really have much time. But I'm allowed to play for the whole day. So I'll try to do as much as I can. Sure. So how long have you been watching Lil Rafaela? So you said you found the server through watching his videos. Right, but how long before that were you watching Loverfell? Was it a first day kind of thing? Or did you watch for a while and then you decide, oh, I should go check out the server? So last year, like beginning of last year, when I first started to play, my friend yeah. told me about him. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me play. And that was on an old crusty Microsoft laptop. Mm -hmm. But the beginning cool. of this year, I got a new PC and I just decided to get Minecraft again. And um, I started to watch his videos because it popped up on my recommended. And about two months later, I s just started to play the server. And I found it was really fun. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so I have a question within the survey for you. Do you find yourself at the casinos ever? I mean, yes, but only losing money. Only losing money? Yeah. How much? Yeah. Approximately how much have you lost to casinos? Um, probably over 2 million. Oh, that's steep. That's mm. a steep amount. Yeah. Do you, are you like, va are you vowed to never go back? Or do you think you're gonna maybe try your hand again? See if you're lucky. I mean, I don't, I don't want to go back. But, you know, my mind is just like, oh, go gamble, go gamble, do it. You could win money. And then, <laughs> you know, I lose money, so. Yeah. Once I spent 300k to earn three mil and i didn't check the dispenser so it was a total scam and it was just dirt Ooh, that's so unfortunate. I lost 300k dang scammers one time mm. so yeah. are you what do you do you said you build a lot do you find yourself building a lot on the server or not so much um on this server i usually base raid that's base how raid. i usually get my money so any old bases, I go collect stuff. Sure. But, um, I'm not really much of a builder. I have been upgrading my base now with the carrot farm and a giant castle and a floating island. Right. Uh, but um, I don't really have artistic skills. Um, Fair enough. 
but um also i'm very lazy so i don't feel like grinding an hour underground for diamonds and that stuff so that's i just fair. base read. that's all i do very interesting very interesting hmm let me think here is minecraft the only game you play right now or do you play other games instead you say you only can play it one day every couple or two days every couple of weeks do you um, find yourself only playing Loverfell these days or do you switch up a little um Recently, I've been playing uh, Love of Fella only, but I do sometimes play Call of Duty, um, Rust, uh, Ark, and Rainbow Six Siege. That's a nice collection. Yeah. All right. Next question for you. What's your favorite TV show? Do you have any favorite TV shows? Do you watch TV while you play the game? A lot of people do. A lot of people find themselves like, um, working on their care farms and watching. So, um, is that something you do? Like, I don't watch TV shows, like TV programs, but I do watch Netflix and Disney+. Sure. Plus. So, I just watch uh, Marvel movies. A lot of Marvel movies. A lot of Marvel uh, movies, sure. And a lot of just action-packed movies. When I used to watch, uh, like, TV... I used to always go to the movie uh, channel just to watch action movies. So, yeah. Gotcha. Any favorite music? Music. Oh, yes. I love me my music. Uh, so, right now, I've got a whole bunch of mixed musics. Um, I've got some rap, some hip-hop. Um, but I'm listening now uh, top hits of 2015. So, I'm listening to all the old songs now. That I uh, listened to when I was younger. Like Macklemore, Thrift Shopping? Was that, uh, was that 2015? I think that's no, 2015. No, that's like 2011. So was it? I'm not sure. It's old. Really? I'm not I don't sure. know if I believe that. But that's yeah, crazy. just anything from 2015 and above, I basically listen to. Alright, good to know. 2012. Hmm. Okay. You know, I always find myself struggling for questions here. You've been such a great uh, top person to talk to today. So, let me ask you this. Right. If you were given $300, would you spend it on liquor in-game? Or would you find yourself spending it on real-life stuff? I mean, you know what? I like, I gotta set up my future in real life. But sure. I'm only 15, so I don't care about that. So I'll probably spend it on games. You would spend it on games? Would you, got, would you buy liquor? No, I wouldn't buy liquor. I would buy Gobble. Gobble. And for the rest, I'll probably just buy crates, and or maybe sell it to people. Big bucks on Liverpool. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, I, before, like I said, um, I spent five dollars on five hundred L bucks, and then I yeah. paid someone three mil to give me five hundred L bucks, and then that's how I got taste bud. Very nice. So, yeah. No entrepreneur. Mm hmm. You could say that. Can and will. All right. Let me ask you my next question. On the server, have you had any experiences where you thought you might have quit right after? Have you ever thought about quitting? Have you ever thought, ah, dude, that sucks. I think I'm done playing this forever. Um, one time, I don't know if you know this guy named Meraldia. Yeah, 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 we heard of him. We call him, yeah. on this show, we call him Neckbeard. Yeah, um, we've seen his YouTube channel. Um, but I found a base with a Axolotl hat, which I believe go for 2 million. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he, um, I didn't realize, but it's on 40 days or 42 days or something like that. And I didn't realize, but he already had a, a set home there. So he wanted the hat also. So then I was like, oh no, he's going to get the hat because I can't play as much. So that was yeah. like, oh, if he gets it, then I'm going to be so angry and I, I might not even play for the next couple of weeks. So, And he got it. Uh, well, no, we, we're still waiting, but it's most likely he's going to get it <laughs> because he plays all the time. Yeah. How did you find out he had a set home there? Um, I was in a, a, a VC. Um, yeah. And I was like, okay, um, guys, I found this cool base with the Axolotl hat. And then I asked how much it was worth. And Maradia was like, 2 million. I was like, oh, that's crazy. And I was sharing my screen because I don't know why. And he was like, oh, no, um, I've already been to that base before. 
And I'm like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, I set, I put a set home there. And Ooh. then I was just like, oh, he's going to get it before me. So Dude, that sucks. Yeah, he's in a yep. Especially like being in person here. with him. Uh, yeah. Super awkward. Mm. I mean, like, sometimes he's okay. Like, he gives me stuff. But usually it's just building blocks like dirt or... Yeah. So you're like kind of friends or just like VC acquaintances? Like, like you just we're not really VC. friends. We're not really friends, but... If I see him, then I would be like, "Oh, hi, Maraldi," or that stuff, like respectfully. Do you think he? Do you think you're like irrelevant to him? Do you think uh, he doesn't even think it? Like, he doesn't I mean, even like, know your name. He keeps on forgetting about me, so I'm assuming I'm ir irre irrelevant. He's on Vorkat. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, most most lookers or anyone higher than taste bud forget about me. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. I just yeah. well first off I disagree with that but second off I d I dislike liquor culture where people can kind of think they're better than other people even though it's Minecraft yeah. and you're just as sad as the next person because you're also playing Minecraft but I mean like I, I always I hate I hate my fellow liquors I think they're kind of assholes I mean I I have no problem with liquors I think liquors are cool it's just uh like sometimes I respect them and then uh, only like a few don't respect me back. Most of them sure. are good. Like yeah. three is, there or four any other, is there any other example of someone not respecting you back as in their liquor? Um, Anything that comes to mind or just general? Yeah, just generally. Like when I'm in a VC and I ask for something and he's like, no, shut up. I'm talking. I'm oh. like, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's really annoying. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's basically it. Very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, if I may touch on something. Um, our inspiration for this uh, podcast series is what Taboo touched on with Flickers thinking they're better than every all, like all the other ranks. Mm. Like, that's our I mean, main inspiration. I know one liquor that uh, isn't, like, 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 I'm sort of friends with. Like, we were, like, talking a lot. His name is Halo. I don't know if he's on right now, but uh, yeah, I used to be like friends here. with him. But he he was chill, like we were laughing and that stuff. But yeah, every other liquor I've like been messaging saying, um, "Oh, can you get me a free head or something?" And they just ignore me or say, "No, I can't do that." Yeah. Or they say, "No, I don't want to do it." Yeah, we really we really hate those kind of people. That's our mission is to give the no ranks a voice, the lesser than liquor. A voice because I mean, you know what they're very it's kind of annoying how dominated chat is by liquors i mean i kept on i kept on getting not bullied but like like people kept on joking about me when i was a uh, no rank yeah yeah but i was like i don't i don't care i mean like talk about me all you want maybe sleep just on, yeah. again just yeah <laughs> But yeah, uh, I don't really care about ranks that much, besides privilege. Sure. Like, it gives me flight or makes me mine more yeah. spawners. Very fair, very fair. That's good. Plus, so do you have any questions? Me? Oh, I don't even know. No. no. Do you think persons. the um, ranks price are reasonable? No. Yes and no. Why because, yes? Uh, yes, because I think there it has to be, like, not difficult, but there has to be, uh, like, a hard level to become a higher rank. Like, taste bud, I feel like, should be rather $200. Because who's going to spend $300 on a Minecraft server? Yeah. Like, that server could just shut down by accidentally, and then you Lose down $300. Yeah, 100%. I think ranks are severely overpriced. I mean, some of the uh, smaller ranks, like Taste Bud, yeah, like $10 is fine. Yeah. But sure. higher rank, I feel like it's a bit expensive. 100%. Hmm. Hmm. What's your experiences with the staff team so far? Have you had any bad issue or like any bad experiences with the staff 
or any issues with them in general? Mm, no, not really. I haven't no. really talked talk to them. So. No, have you ever made a ticket before? I have twice. One time I asked a guy uh, to fetch something from another claim because I actually dropped it. And he was like, uh, no, I can't do that. I'm busy now. And then another time I got a ticket and no one answered me. That's, they just didn't answer you? For how long? How long was for that like ticket open for? Two weeks. Two never weeks? Got a, weeks? Never got a wow. record message. Big. Mm. Are you annoyed by that? No, I, I don't really care. No, you because don't care? That, that second time I tried to get a ticket was uh, because um, like I wanted to like bold not bold but claim an area but there was already a claim there like just one claim and it was just a whole mess and i sure. didn't want that next to my bold so but then eventually the person just left sure he unclaimed the thing that's good yeah at least it ended well yeah have you ever heard about any bad experiences with staff have you ever heard people like complain about it before um i've heard s some people say that some staff members uh, treat others differently. Yeah. Sure. Like um, what? Because one time I asked, uh, I think there's a staff member named Jessica or something. Jessica Holm, sure. Yeah. Um, and Maraudia asked her if she could look into chests in an unclaimed area to see if there was anything good. Mm -hmm. And then she said, yes, of course. But then when I asked for a, a claim that I had, uh, she didn't even respond. Right. And I asked her in the exact same way Maraudia did. But yeah. That's very unfortunate. That's good to hear, though. Good to hear about your experience. Um, what time are we at, Glysel? Uh We just hit the 22-minute mark. 22-minute mark? I think that's plenty of time. What are your thoughts? Do you have any final questions? Any wrapping up questions? Or do you have any wrapping up questions or statements, Rocky? Uh, no, not really. Um, I'm probably just going to eat some food now. Uh, food take a shower. Would you mind just waiting two minutes for me? Before we... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Awesome. I see to hop on quickly. Well, I hops on. Uh, have you seen what the design team has done this past season for all of the skin dexes? Um, I'm I'm not really like, I I'm not a hundred percent sure on how the skin dex stuff works. I mean, the design looks nice, like yeah, the nature sword looks cool, or but I'm not really sure on how to skin dex something or when to do it or uh, if it's specific objects or not. But uh, if you're talking about all the custom, like, designed weapons yeah. and armor, mm -hmm. then, yeah, they all look pretty cool. I mean, yeah. some things are a bit overpriced. Like, there's this Karama helmet for yeah. 300 million. Right, and, and I, don't, I don't know about you, but I don't even think the Karama helmet looks good yeah. at all. I haven't I think seen it, it looks... but I know uh, this guy named Twist. He he has one and it costs three hundred million, and I'm just like that's that's way too much just for a helmet. Hundred percent. Yeah, Karma helmets Alrighty. are basically considered rich community helmets, in my eyes at least. All right, Rocky, I would like to thank you so much for coming on the Lover Small podcast today. We have really appreciated your time and your conversation. It's been awesome. And as a thank you, I'd just like to give you a small sum of $1 million to tell you how much we appreciated that. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you find whatever you're looking for on the server. And I hope you don't have to spend up too much money to get wherever you want to go. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you so much for joining us. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, wait, why did you pay me one mil? It's just a small thank you for coming on and letting us have a conversation oh, for you, with you. You, you. you didn't have to. It would be, no, no, it's no. my pleasure though. Yeah. It's our pleasure. Are you sure? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. You too. Goodbye. Nice.